KTSA News Flash. A man who was shot while driving near the Rim Shopping Center has died. 26-year-old Savon Kyle was driving through the restaurant district of the Northwest Side Shopping Center at around 11.45 yesterday morning. Police say that's when another vehicle with two or three people inside came along and one of them shot at Kyle. Kyle was hit, but his 8-year-old son, who was in the car with him, was not. Uh, Kyle was taken to a hospital but died of his injuries this morning. No one else was injured in the shooting, and police are still looking for the killers. Texas Senator Ted Cruz was calling the House impeachment inquiry, a kangaroo court. They're going to impeach, not because they have the evidence, but because they hate the president, want to do the election. Appearing on NBC's Meet the Press, the Texas Republican dismissed allegations House Democrats have made against President Trump and characterized the continuing impeachment inquiry as a baseless partisan attack. He accused Democrats of moving to impeach, not because they have the evidence, but because they hate the president. Cruz said even if the House votes to impeach Trump, he does not expect the Republican-controlled Senate to remove Trump from office. John Klein, NBC News Radio. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo was targeting the NRA and Texas Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz following the killing of a police officer. Acevedo accused the Republicans of cowardice for not getting the Violence Against Women Act reauthorized, saying they don't want to take guns out of the hands of boyfriends who hurt girlfriends. So you're either here for women and children and our daughters and our sisters and our aunts, or you're here for the NRA. Sergeant Christopher Brewster was shot to death Saturday while responding to a domestic incident. The suspect is in custody. Former Vice President Joe Biden will be campaigning in San Antonio later this week. Biden's campaign said he'll attend a community event Friday, though the location has not yet been announced. Biden was last in Texas in September for a fundraiser in Houston and a rally at Texas Southern University. You'll have to sign up on Biden's website if you want to go. Texas will be part of Super Tuesday on March 3rd when voters in 14 states will cast ballots in the primaries. Not all scams in 2019 or run through email or social media. When she posted her iPhone on LetGo, Tamara Malone thought she was doing everything right by asking to meet the buyer in person in a public place. In a Houston Starbucks, the would-be customer produced an envelope containing $700. So she counts it right in front of my face, puts the money back in the envelope, hands it to me. So I just gave her the phone. But Detective Shane McCoy says there's a big problem with the cash. If you look closely, motion picture use only. It's movie prop money. It looks very real, but is totally worthless. For Tamara Malone, lesson learned. Very expensive lesson learned. Jim Ryan, ABC News. It's the University of Texas Longhorns and the University of Utah Utes in this year's Valero Alamo Bowl. Utah is ranked 11th, bringing to town an 11-2 overall record and 8-1 and Pac-12 conference play. It'll be the first appearance for the Utes at the Alamo Bowl. Texas was 7-5 overall and 5-4 and in the Big 12. The Horns most recently played in the Alamo Bowl in 2013. When they lost to Oregon 30-7, to the Horns and the Utes meet up in San Antonio on New Year's Eve. KTSA Money News. New data from China showed that the trade war is hurting demand for its products. According to its customs data, exports to the U.S. slumped 23% in November and imports from the U.S. also fell, though not as dramatically. Former Federal Reserve Chairman Paul Volcker has died. He was 92 years old. Volcker is credited with curing runaway inflation in the 70s and 80s. During the financial crisis, he became an advisor to President Obama. His advice led to the creation of the Volcker Rule, widely prohibiting banks from prop trading from their own accounts. Some major Medicare costs are set to jump in January. The Medicare Part B standard monthly premium will rise more than nine bucks a month. Compare that to an increase of only $1.50 a month in 2019. The 2020 Medicare Part B annual deductible will rise to $198 per year. All of the increases nearly negate the annual cost of living adjustment. The Secret Service is issuing an alert to consumers to be on the lookout for counterfeit cash this holiday season. The agency is urging shoppers to check money they receive back from cash transactions. The Secret Service says things to look out for include foreign writing on bills or words such as replica or motion picture use only. And that's your CBSMoneyWatch.com report. I'm Diane King-Hall. KTSA AccuWeather. 
This afternoon, times of clouds and sun, warm day, high 76, cloudy, breezy, late tonight, rain and drizzle, low 40 in the hill country, 45 along the river walk, clouds and some rain tomorrow, winds will die down, high 52, sunny on Wednesday, the high 61. I'm Steve Williams with your KTSA, Stevens Roofing, AccuWeather forecast. I'm Dennis Foldy, get news around the clock in 550, KTSA and FM 1071, get news anytime online at KTSA.com.